this Christmas, I'm going to read you guys one of my favorite childhood stories, The Christmas Puppy. Here is The Christmas Puppy. If I start drooling on myself, I do apologize. The Christmas Puppy. One fall night in the warm kitchen of an old farmhouse, a tiny white puppy was born. He had floppy black ears and lots of tan spots. That's you. Isn't he beautiful? His mother asked the gray tabby cat who lived in the kitchen. Do you see he has one spot that looks just like a heart? The tabby cat stood up and stretched her paws. Well, I suppose he's cute, she sniffed with those big ears and all those spots. I'm sure there won't be any problem finding him a good home for Christmas. He looks like a perfect Christmas puppy. It was a lot harder than I expected. The spotted pup uh, poked his nose out of the basket. What's a good home? he asked. Why, every animal knows that, said the cat wisely. A good home is a place to live where it's safe and warm, where someone loves you. Ugh. The days passed and all the leaves fell from the trees. Thanksgiving was over and Christmas was on the way. The spotted pup could see snow falling outside. Soon everything was covered in white. It was Christmas Eve. But everyone had been too busy baking cookies and decorating the tree to find the spotted pup a new home. I wonder if I'm supposed to find my own good home, thought the pup. So when he saw the back door of the kitchen was open, out he slipped right into the barnyard. In the barn lived a big brown farm horse. Well, this looks like a good home, said the puppy to the horse. You have lots of hay to keep you warm. Yes, said the horse. It's very cozy and warm here. You're welcome to stay with me if you like. There's the big horse. So the little puppy settled into the hay, but just as he began to close his eyes, the horse decided to move. First, the horse picked one big hoof up in the air, then he picked up the other one. The pup had to run very fast so that his new friend wouldn't step on him. Oh, said the puppy, your hay is very warm and you've been very nice. But I don't think this is a good home for me. I'm too small to live with such a large horse. It isn't safe at all. Ugh. Some field mice had been watching. And when they saw the spotted pup leaving the barn, they invited him to their underground home in the cornfield. Why, thank you, said the pup, squeezing into the hole with the little mice. But the cornfield was covered with snow, and even though the puppy felt safe, he was very cold. Soon he felt an icicle on the tip of his nose. I'm sorry, said the pup, wiggling out of the hole. Your home is very nice and very safe, but it's too cold for a little puppy like me. He shook the icicle off his nose and hurried back to the barnyard. Well, I can't go back to the barn, thought the spotted pup, because the horse is too big and I can't live with the mice because their home is too cold. Maybe I'll find a good home with the chickens. So he walked over to the hen house. There was no one inside. It looked warm and cozy. So the pup crawled right in and snuggled up in the straw. But just as he began to fall asleep, the barnyard hen came back and pecked him on the nose. This is my house, she cackled. I don't like puppies. Go away. Oh, said the puppy as he ran away. That wasn't a good home at all. The hen didn't love me. She didn't even like me. There's the mices and the hen. Are you enjoying this story? I certainly am. Suddenly the pup felt very sad. I wonder if I'll ever find a good home, he sighed as he began to walk down the road. The puppy was so busy thinking that he walked and walked until he couldn't see the farm anymore. Don't scratch! We're reading a story. Ugh, he was getting very tired. Then, just as it began to get dark, he came to a little red house. It didn't look like anyone was at home, but the front door was open a bit, so the puppy <clears throat> pushed it some open some more and wiggled inside. There in the living room was a beautiful Christmas tree with lots of presents and boxes underneath. One red box was open, and the pup looked inside. 
It's empty, he thought. Maybe I can take a nap here. I can always look for a good home again later. So the puppy climbed inside the box and snuggled in the tissue paper, and he fell fast asleep. When he woke up, he could hear singing and laughing. It must be Christmas morning, he thought. But before he could move, his little red box was being lifted up in the air, and someone was opening the lid. As the pup peeked out, a little boy and girl laughed. A puppy, they shouted. It's a Christmas puppy for us. This is the best present of all. Oh, we love him. And the children took him out and gave him lots and lots of hugs and kisses. And when nighttime came, they put a little red blanket in his box to keep him warm and tucked him in to go back to sleep. Good night, Christmas puppy, they said as he turned off as they turned off the lights. The puppy snuggled up in his blanket. I feel very warm, he thought, and very safe. And now I have someone to love me. And at that moment, he knew right down to his little heart-shaped spot that he had been given the best Christmas present of all. A good home and just in time for Christmas. There he is with his little kiddos. That's all for now. The end.